Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Morgan with Innovative IDM. I'm a business development engineer for the Southeast Houston area. Uh, we're a local distributor for Onwan Corporation and I have a really cool product I wanted to show you guys. It's their new uh, proximity sensor line, the uh, E2E Next. Uh, check it out. So here's our proximity sensor set up here. We have our lovely power supply here. We have our disconnects over here. Just smart click M12 four pin connectors. Then we have our family of proximity sensors. Then we have our sens sensing distance area. Then we have uh, plates of aluminum and then plates of iron. I'm going to show you guys here in a second the detection distance for each type of uh, ferrous metal uh, against the next generation sensors. Okay. So we have our new E2E W here, and then we have our E2E Next model here, and then these are the previous versions, okay? So what's really cool about the E2E W is that you see the 12 there? That's actually the sensing distance of the sensor, so it can detect up to 12 millimeters. This is a M18 body size. These go up to M30 and they can detect up to 20 millimeters. Okay, really cool. And it's in a full metal body. Okay, and that's really cool uh, if you have any welding applications in which you have splatter that can get onto your sensors and damage them. These actually have a resistance towards that. All right. Now, this is the E2E Next. And like I said, this is a previous model. What's cool about the E2E Next is that they have a shielded and an unshielded version in which the shielded version can actually uh, detect up to 25 millimeters uh, in an M30 body size. Or you can get it unshielded in which if it's unshielded, of course, the sensor is going to come out of the mounting bracket just a little bit. But you open it up a little bit for uh, interference per se. So it all depends on the application, but those options are available. If you do get it unshielded, then you can detect up to 50 millimeters. Okay. Now I have my power to the proximity sensors and I'm going to go ahead and put in my aluminum here. As you can see, all the lights come on nice and bright. All right. Now what's really cool about the E2E Next generation is that you have 360 degrees of lighting for each one, as you can see, very visible from far away. Okay, and I have the place very close up so you can see all of them uh, detecting the metal. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull this back a little bit, and then you'll actually see the older models drop out. I'm only at a couple of millimeters here. And you see the E2E W and the E2E Next lights are still on. It's still picking up the metal. I'm rolling back, rolling back. And I'm at about five millimeters here. I'm going to keep going. Like I said, since this is a bigger body size, it's going to detect a little bit further. Uh, you'll see it drop out here in a second. Boom, there you go. Okay. I'll go ahead and swap out the aluminum, put in the iron, all right, I'm going to roll it back in. Okay, picked it up, no problem, get closer, get closer, and everybody's happy again, all right. So one thing I also wanted to bring up too with these sensors is that they are both, the E2E Next and the E2E W are compatible with IO-Link. So if you have an IO-Link uh, master, you can get these sensors uh, as a uh, IO-Link slave in which you can actually get data from these sensors back to your network which is really cool for your operations people, just so they're not always having to go physically out to the sensor to find out what's wrong. They can get um, real-time data from your sensors 
through IO Link. Okay. Other than that, um, these are available to market and these can go into multiple applications in the industrial world. Yeah, welding applications. I would uh, highly recommend using the uh, E2EW. If you have conveyor applications to where you have uh, packages or if you have any kind of checking mechanism uh, on your conveyor lines, these E2E Next or these E2EW uh, sensors would be a good fit for you guys. And like I said, we're a local source here. Uh, willing to help you guys if you need it. My name's Jeremy Morgan uh, with Innovative IDM. You can reach out to me at 713-502-7418 uh, or jeremy.morgan at iidm.com if you want to send me an email to follow up with any questions. I'm here to help you. And again, have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.